I have already tried coding before, but it didn't go too well. It was boring to learn and when the time to practice arrived, well, I was a bit confused. After a while I was coding once a month, which made me even more confused because I couldn't remember what I had learned the last time, so I quit. But then I realized it had been a mistake to quit because coding is one of the most important skills to learn and Although some people say ChatGPT and AI have made coding useless, they didn't because you still have to know what to ask them to do. So you need to understand coding first. At this moment, I'm not thinking about becoming a computer engineer. I just want to have the most useful skills for my future. So over these days, I'll be coding for around one hour a day. My plan is to show you my progress and what I'm able to do each day. The first step is choosing the coding language, I think. I'm just a beginner and it could be quite confusing because it looks like programmers like to create new languages, but they won't disturb me because I have already chosen the item, because it is the easiest to learn, we can do tons of things with it and with Python we can learn the other languages very easily. Now I just have to find a course and since I don't want to spend any money I'm just going to search on YouTube. So I have already watched a bit of this course but I felt quite bored while watching it but I remember I watched a bit of this one and I enjoy it a lot. The guy tells some dry jokes that I really like. And honestly, I sometimes forget about that, but don't tell anybody. Like I told you at the beginning, I have already learned some things which I have forgotten. So now I'm going to watch some of the course and uh, read my old projects. Today, I basically just learned the basics again like writing words change them create interactions and create functions on the second day i continued learning the basics and practicing it is very important to practice when learning coding like everything in life because if you don't you will forget what you learned and to write code you need to know all the small details and if you want to become really good at this you should when you are learning something new try to think about something more advanced or different um, to apply what you learn. For example, today I learned what an array and a nested function are and how to create them. And after I finished learning how to create an array, which is like a list of all the things you wanted to have, I wanted to know if I could make an array of things that a user would write on a program. Like, who doesn't have these questions on a daily basis? But don't worry, I know you want to know the answer. The answer is yes. I think this method is going to help you improve a lot, make sure you understand what you are learning and from what I know, when you are creating a project, you are modifying a bit what you already knew um, to create it. On the third day, I woke up filmed a bit of a video, went to my tennis practice where my coach asked me if I wanted to train another two hours, one hour later and here I am dead. When I arrived home I didn't want to do anything else, however after playing the guitar a bit I'm ready to start coding now. So today I learned. Oh how to create things with random value, how to modify numbers like rounding. I tried to create a game of rock, paper, scissor. I wanted to know if I could make it on my own. I talked I did make it, but actually I didn't, so tomorrow I'm going to see how it is done. I want to use this moment to tell you that one of the goals of this video is to show you why you should learn how to code and its importance. If you learn how to code, you'll be able to develop games, websites or apps. 
in general coding is a super useful skill for your job or for your projects i was watching some videos on youtube about coding and programming some said we should learn one specific language first and others said a different one same thing with where to learn the result is that i'm confused but i'm still glad i watched those videos because now i know that i have to make a plan and i think it is better to find out this now than in the future my goals are to be always learning so whenever i finish one language and i think i'm able to create projects with it i'll jump into the next one and the second goal is to create websites specifically one that contains my projects to achieve the second goal i'll need to learn javascript which i didn't choose as my first language to learn because i have already tried to learn it but i didn't understand anything probably i'll continue learning on youtube because i don't have any money and from now on, I will search for a more practical course to practice what I learned. This was one of the videos I watched by Tim Key, and he recommended Free Code Camp for this part. This course has a list of projects for us to create, which help us understand how it's really like to be a programmer. And last week, maybe when I'm on holidays, I'll try to go to one of those intensive courses to really learn a lot and have someone to qualify my doubt and just meet new people. During the last days I've been continuing to learn things like functions and loops and although this is the last day of this little experiment I'll continue learning how to code because I really enjoyed it and because I think coding is a very important skill to have. It can be a bit difficult sometimes but I think that makes it even more interesting and great for our reasoning. If you like this video and you like this type of content about coding or experiments please tell me in the comments. If you want me to make a video about something write it too. I've been trying to post two videos per week so any support will help me a lot.